Hello everybody. So today we are going to be making a nice mandala or mandala, however you like to pronounce it. It's a really simple design, but I'm going to do this part quick and then you guys can easily see what was done. The number for this Cricut uh, design in Cricut Design Space, if you want to print off one of your own, it is going to be listed here as well as in the description of the video. Um, so basically it's a circle um, and then from that circle there's like little flower petals. I believe there's eight of them. Um, so one on the top, one on the bottom, and then three on either side. You'll be able to see it a lot better in a second. Um, my rock is wet on the one side. I had to clean off a little bit of paint that I got there. Um, so you can't see it that great right now, but you will be able to see it much better very, very soon. Um, but basically, yes, it's like a flower. And then from those flowers are wish bones. So it's really easy to actually do this yourself. Um, but uh, I cheated. <laughs> it's actually not cheating here. Uh, we're allowed to use whatever we want to make our rocks beautiful. So the design has been stamped on there using a sponge and a stencil. Then I went over it with my fine lining brush. Now I'm using a half teaspoon to draw a semicircle between each point of the wishbones. So I hope I'm explaining this okay. If you're uh, a fan of my channel and you've been here for a while, uh, thank you, first of all. But you've seen me call these wishbones before. Um, you know I don't use technical terms, <laughs> so that's okay. Um, but if you're new here, welcome. And I call them wishbones. I have different non-technical names for everything. Um, and that's okay. We're allowed. <laughs> I'm self-taught in everything, including the English language. No, <laughs> just kidding. Um, so I, I'm just kind of going over my pencil marks from using that half teaspoon to give me some nice semicircles. Now I'm going in with a large dotting tool. So you can find something at your desk, whether it's like a, at the end of a pencil or um, maybe even the end of a knitting needle or something. It, anything that you can just dab on a big old dot of paint or gold, not old, gold dot of paint. <laughs> and now I'm gonna pinstripe our circular semicircles that we created with the half teaspoon. So what I do usually is I go one in the center, one on either side, kind of centered. Then I go in between those ones. It's just the way I do it. it makes it look mostly even for someone who's not using any kind of measurements or I'm just winging it. We just wing it here. <laughs> so uh, I just do it the same way every time. It just makes it easy for me. Same with doing the design up top. You do a circle first, one petal at the top, one petal at the bottom, and then you gotta like equally put in three petals on either side. So it's just kind of like going by eye. I learned how to play music and sing going by ear. Um, I'm just going by eye <laughs> with this. <laughs> uh, there we go with that horrible ter terminolo terminology again. So on this one, I'm going to outline it. I just want to let you guys know I, I actually created this uh, rock a while back and recorded the tutorial for a while ago, but I lost some of the footage and I only just found it again. So I was so happy that I actually have like a short video at the end of it resined and, and all of that. And I was worried that I wouldn't be able to show it to you, but uh, luckily. I found the footage. So I'm just kind of defining certain areas, outlining it, I guess you could say, with black. I will be using dots. I'm also going to be using a heart that I made out of resin, which I will have a tutorial in the description for you to look at. Uh, basically, I bought a mold 
um, and some glow-in-the-dark pigments and I mix it with resin and then I put the put the resin in the mold and I let it sit and then when I pop the charms out or or whatever it is they some of them are like diamond shaped some of them are you know you can do whatever you want there's all sorts of different um, molds that you can get silicone molds for resin and uh, all sorts of stuff and I got it all on Amazon except for the resin of course but uh, I made these little glow-in-the-dark hearts so I'm going to be uh, showing you those a little bit later I'm going to be using one in the center where that circle is you don't have to do that um, this was just me sprucing up the rock you do whatever you want you can put like a large flat back crystal right there you can put a little mirror um, little tiny circular mirror that you can get at craft stores uh, you do whatever you want with that center or you can do what I did which is really super easy you can also buy UV resin which dries under a UV light super quick and then there you go you got them made right away so I did black dots on top of the big gold ones and then I walked little dots while I was talking I walked little dots around those dots so you'll be able to see it up close a little bit better you'll be able to see everything that is gold a lot better once I seal this rock as well because the rock is gonna go super dark almost black and then that gold is gonna pop off of this rock right away you're gonna see this design very very well so depending on the surface that you're painting on whether it's a rock or a canvas it really this gold will really show up on top of a darker surface really really well so my little wishbone areas I'm now painting black and I'm going to be using not only a glow-in-the-dark heart that I created out of resin but I'm going to be using UV gel nail gel and chrome flakes and we're also going to be putting some dots you know I love dots so there's going to be some dots between those um, pinstripes so yeah it's very exciting so right now I'm doing cleanup while that black is drying because I can't do anything with that black until it's dry um, and what I'm gonna do with that black is the chrome flakes and I really recommend using chrome and chrome flakes anything like that chrome powder chrome flakes on top of black matte black paint it and well of course you got to put your UV gel on on top of the black as well but uh, I'm just doing a little wishbones again here around our dotted dots <laughs> our large dots with small dots around the dots um, and so yeah there's little wishbones there and now I'm putting a dot where every petal meets that circle I'm just putting a dot of gold there just to fancy schmancy it up a little bit I don't want to do too much now I've I don't like having pointy ends on my wishbones so I put a dot on the tip of that point on those little wishbones <laughs> my black is now dry so now we do the fun part that I was just going to tell you about which is matte black paint dry you put your UV nail gel inside that little area of the wishbone it's best to do it on top of black because chrome and chrome flakes uh, they just show up so nice depending on what your what look you're going for but for this design it shows up really nice on top of black paint so this black paints kind of like a base coat for your nails then you do the color which is black then you do the the top coat which is the UV gel you cure it or cook it under your UV light for a minute and 20 seconds then you get a little brush and you brush on those chrome flakes so these chrome flakes are like a blue I'll list them in the description there's like a whole set that you can get it was gifted to me through my Amazon gift uh, wish list thank you again uh, millions and millions of uses out of the whole package um, these ones shift from purple like a magenta to a purple to a blue so they're super super nice um, really pretty under different lights 
So you're done. Once you brush on those chrome flakes, they're, you can touch them. It's not going to come off. It sticks to that UV gel once the UV gel is cured. Don't put it on top of the UV gel if it has not cured yet because you're just making a mess, an unnecessary mess, which will be frustrating to clean up. It can be done, though. You just use some nail polish remover and uh, uh, bless you, my oldest son is here and he just sneezed so bless him um but yeah you can just use nail polish remover and q-tips to get rid of your mistake and then start over once it's dry so i have chromed everything that i wanted to chrome i'm also going to be chrome chroming those black dots that i did on top of the gold dots you can see i did all my chrome stuff on top of something so that i can just dump it all back out into the jar later so I don't waste them. Um, but a little goes a long way for these uh, flakes. Here's some of the resin things that I was talking about. I bought a mold for all sorts of different like jewel shapes. So you can use all different ones. You can do whatever you want with the resin. This one has uh, opal in the resin. But I'm going to use a glow in the dark heart. Because I think it would just look really, really nice. Um, so I'm putting the UV gel dots on top of the black dots so that I can chrome those as well. Those are going to be the same color chrome that we just did inside the wishbones. It's just to kind of bring that down into the rock in another spot just to make it look nice. It's just the way I am. <laughs> so I'm sweeping up my, my chrome flake mess and we're ready to start painting because... There's not a whole lot of paint in this, but um, but is it important? It does something really special to the rock. So I'm just gonna show you, I picked this one. Which one do you guys think? The darker one? I think the darker one kind of stands out nicely. So that's what we're gonna use. So now I'm gonna use a couple of different colors, Cayman Blue, uh, Calypso Sky, and also patina or you can also use a uh, drift uh, ocean drift I think it's called they're very very similar um, so I'm starting with a lighter color patina and I'm just using a dotting needle you can use a toothpick it's got to be a really small one to go between those pinstripes depending on how thin your pinstripes are and that's all up to you um, so if you did it the way I did it you're gonna need a, a, a dotting needle or a toothpick to do these so I've gone lighter at the top, medium blue in the center, in, in the center of it. And then when we get lower, it's that Cayman blue. Um, so it's the darker of the three. But they're both they're all very light colored blue, but there's definitely a difference between the three. So you can also do this effect by just using one color of blue and adding white to it. Uh, and just keep adding white until it gets lighter. And you can do it that way if you like. Separate one color between three um, pods on your paint palette. And uh, that was too many P's. Pods on your paint palette. <laughs> uh, I missed you guys. So I'm doing the same thing on every one, but I've sped it up a lot. Because how boring. How boring. And I'm trying to do it as even as possible, but when you stand back and take a look at it afterwards, it gives it a really nice ombre illusion in the pinstripes, and it just really does something special. Like I said, it does something special to the rock. I love doing um, ombre dots. I don't know about you, but I like it. So let me know if you're going to create some of your own uh, glow-in-the-dark or, or sparkly little resin gems because they're really fun. And like I said, there is a video in the description for you that will uh, explain a lot of that. So I used a glaze from my desk as a glue. You can just use Mod Podge or if you have crazy glue or nail glue, you just glue it on. Just keep it in, spate, in, in the spot for now because once I seal it with resin in a few minutes, um, it ain't going nowhere. <laughs> it's going to be completely sealed with resin and it's not going anywhere. So I'm putting black dots in here and I'm going to resin it. Are you guys ready? Here it comes. 
Oh my goodness. It is absolutely stunning. And I mean, that's not even glowing. That's just covered in resin. By the way, I chromed those black dots too, the ones that are attached to the wishbones at the bottom. Those are chromed just like the bigger dots and the wishbones around the heart. Isn't that nice? This is bad lighting. I'm going to put this under the UV light for a second in order to make that heart glow. Look at that. I'm gonna take a way better picture, um, but look at that chrome next to the glowing heart. Like It just looks stunning and in better lighting, it looks even better. I wanna know what you think. Are you gonna try and make one? Are you gonna make your own little gems to add to your stones? Uh, you've seen me do this before, um, but let me know what you thought. And I love you, and I hope that you will be back here soon in a couple of days with another dragon eye that's all watercolor, um, and it's absolutely gorgeous. You might've seen it on one of my social media platforms. Uh, keep painting for me and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.